In today's room tour, I got something special for you because today we are visiting the system of an audiophile monk. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yes, the audiophile that we are visiting today is an actual monk who is painting icons for a monastery. Now by request I am not going to use his name or where this monastery is. So even if you know what monastery this is, please respect his request and do not post it in the comments. Okay, now on to the story. So some time ago I got a comment on a review video asking me what kind of music did I play there. Well, it was the Proprius recording, Cantate Domino, by Oscar's Mortet Choir. Now, during the conversations that followed via email, I found out that he was a monk, and he had an actual audiophile hi-fi setup, and even more interesting was the fact that he was able to have his audiophile setup in his icon paint shop in the monastery. So, of course, I had to ask if he was interested to feature his system in my subscriber room tour videos. And, as you can see, he said yes. And here we are with a room tour video of an audiophile monk. Now before I get into his system, I first have to tell you something about the room. Because his system is situated in the icon painting workshop room. And before he could even start to set up his system, he literally had to rebuild the workshop from the floor up. Meaning he actually had to put in a new floor before he could even start. And even that was only possible after remodeling the entire first floor which is the floor below. So the workshop is situated on the second floor and both these floors are situated in the 70 meter high bell tower that was built in 1914. And it took him over a year of rebuilding both floors before he could even play his first tunes. And by rebuilding I mean that most everything that you see in the video was rebuilt by hand. His hands meaning the floor, the ceiling, the oak and metal door, all the ornaments and of course the icons are also from his hand. Now the floor itself is 4.2 meters wide and 4.4 meters long, so it is almost a square room, which is not ideal for listening rooms of course. But what is ideal for listening rooms is the 1 meter thick walls, and one of the walls is even 2 meters thick, and the room being completely soundproof so he can play his music without bothering other people. Now as you can see, the room has no acoustical treatment and my first question of course was how is that working out? Well, he did not experiment with treatment yet, but for the kind of music he is playing, mostly church choir music, it might actually be a benefit. Another thing he had to consider was that the room doubles as a museum. So having some big stack of Macintosh power amps and a big Magnapan loudspeaker panel was out of the question. It had to be more or less invisible. So after the first few room tour videos that I did, which had double system, multiple loudspeakers and endless stacks of equipment, today we are looking at a minimalistic system with as few pieces of equipment as possible while still giving an amazing sound performance. But before I go into a system, there's something else, because I was wondering what is a system like that doing in such an unlikely place as a monastery? Well, and I quote, the spiritually enchanting music is helping him with his inner spiritual state when he is painting. Because your state of mind can be positively influenced by an external soothing sonic stimulant." End quote. And to that I say, spoken like a true audiophile. Now on to his minimalistic system. You could almost say that his system consists of only two loudspeakers. And considering the intro, you might think they are small bookshelves, but you would be wrong. He is actually playing with two big floor standing loudspeakers and they are the Denodio XAO6 wireless. Now he lifted the loudspeakers a little bit onto concrete blocks, took off the grills and wrapped them in white cloth to make them even more invisible. The XAO6 loudspeakers are active wireless loudspeakers. They have two 14 cm mid bass drivers and a 28 mm tweeter per side. And what is special about the active part is that every driver has its own digital amplifier. So in total there are six power amps in these two loudspeakers. Each power amp delivers 50 watts making for a total of 300 watts. That's not bad. It is a wireless setup, so the only wire he has to deal with are the power cables feeding the Dynaudios. 
the wireless signal comes from the hub. The hub can take analog, digital and USB signals. And in this situation, our monk is using the USB port for his laptop because that is the only source that he uses. Most of his music comes from YouTube because streaming services like Spotify are not that easy to come by where he lives. Now let's have a closer look at the loudspeakers. The wireless receiver is situated on top of the loudspeaker and on the rear panel of the loudspeaker you can choose the color of the LEDs. Another nice little feature of the Xeo 6 loudspeakers is that you can do a little bit of DSP. After all, these are digital amplifiers. You have settings for neutral, placement close to a wall or placement in a corner. And I think this is a very handy feature, but that's about it. There's a power inlet and an on and off switch. Oh wait, there's also a switch to designate the loudspeaker as left, right or mono, meaning you can also play with just one loudspeaker. Now to get the signal to the loudspeakers, you need the hub. The hub is pretty complete. There are inputs for AUX, analog, optical, coaxial and USB. The max resolution is 24 bits 96 kilohertz. And there's a wired ethernet port, or you can connect it wireless. For more Wi-Fi reliability, you can choose between three different bands. 2.5 gigahertz, 5.2 or 5.8. And of course, you have a power input. Here are some more shots of the system. The music in the background is the actual music he listens to. There are no sound samples, but he is very happy with his sounds. And judging by the conversations we have had, I can tell you he is capable of completely getting into an enlightened state when listening to his music. He tells about it very passionately. But with that being said, he is aiming to go up one level in this Din Audio series to get an even better sound. He may give the acoustics of the room a go and he is thinking of trying another power cable. After all, it is the only cable in his system, so why not give it a try? And so we come to the end of another subscriber room tour video. I hope you enjoyed to see the setup of an audiophile monk and I would like to thank him for his participation. And when you want to comment on this video, remember, you got to see this video because he was so friendly to share with us a part of his private life. So please be respectful of that. Oh